Follow now stunning new developments in the so-called fake sign language interpreter at the Nelson Mandela Memorial. A South African News Network is reporting the interpreter faced multiple criminal charges from 1994 to 2006, including murder, attempted murder, rape, kidnapping, and theft. The network reports he was only found guilty of theft, and it's unclear if he faced jail time. You may recall yesterday in an interview with CNN, the interpreter said he suffers from schizophrenia and is under treatment, although he refused to actually do any signing. All of this raising serious security questions now about the memorial, considering the interpreter shared the stage with President Obama and other world leaders. Let's go live to CNN's Errol Barnett in, uh, in Johannesburg for more. So this guy, the, the fake interpreter, he was charged with how many crimes that we know about? Six, Anderson, and that's according to this document obtained by a local channel here from a senior police source. They include murder and rape. It shows that he was found not guilty. He was found guilty of theft back in 1996. Three other charges, though, were withdrawn. It's unclear uh, why they were withdrawn. Now, when he was asked about these charges by the local network, he didn't deny them. He wouldn't comment further and then asked how this network was able to get their hands on this document, Anderson, when CNN went to the courthouse to see these pages we were told they were kept at a separate location so massive questions about these charges did the government know the government has launched an investigation but they even are hitting roadblocks announcing thursday that when they tried to reach out to the company they hired him through they had vanished up and left when we went to the address on mr uh, Gianti's business card People there said it's not a real uh, business um, at that location. So massive questions this weekend before Mandela's funeral on Sunday. And, and this so-called interpreter had actually interpreted a number of other events, correct? And, and there had been apparently complaints from the deaf community about him. But what did nobody just nobody heeded that? Nobody cared. Yeah. According to the Deaf Federation of South Africa, yes. The only reason that we're paying so much attention to this man is because of Tuesday's very high-profile event. He was steps away from U.S. President Barack Obama, the U.N. Secretary General, the Brazilian President, and more. Uh, Deaf Federation of South Africa says they've complained about this man back in 2012. Um, they say the government didn't do anything. They also said they are highly qualified to do these kinds of interpretations. It speaks to the criticisms of the government, Anderson, people saying that nepotism and corruption is rampant and that people only succeed uh, based on connections. So what happened to this, this man's criminal record? Uh, why didn't we know about it? Why wasn't he properly vetted? Those questions likely to hang over at Mandela's funeral on Sunday. It's a public holiday here Monday. We'll continue to work our sources, but those answers are elusive at the moment. And of course, why did, how did the Secret Service not catch uh, his past criminal record in, in vetting who was going to be standing next to the President of the United States? Errol Burnett, I appreciate it. Let's get caught up in some of the